how this fan is actually got. It is amazing. Check it out. Welcome to AW Services YouTube channel. A warm welcome to the AW Services YouTube channel. Today's video is a review on a Sealy 16 inch high velocity drum fan. I wanted a larger high velocity fan to move air rapidly for various pressure washing jobs that are inside warehouses and storage facilities because I needed to exhaust the exhaust fumes from the building to make it safe for myself to use a petrol pressure washer. So I opted for this fan. I did some searching around and I saw a fan similar to this some time ago on the Machine Mart website and looking at the characteristics, these technical specs on there, it was exactly what I wanted. So I didn't actually get this from Machine Mart, but I referenced Machine Mart shortly in the video. So this is a Sealy. Uh, Sealy are a British tool uh, wholesaler. They sell a lot of very good quality power mechanical tools, workshop mechanics, and they sell a lot of fans and ventilation for rapid air movement. So this is a 16 inch high velocity drum fan. It's a three speed drum fan, lightweight aluminium construction with a rotatable tiltable base, a robust unit fitted with rubber feet for stability and anti-vibration. It has a handle with a 360 degree tilting stand allowing control of airflow to exactly where it's needed. Carefully balanced and fully guarded aluminium blades provide a quiet and safe operation, suitable for use in industrial, commercial, agricultural, automotive workshops, showrooms and home specifications. So this fan is fitted with the UK 13 amp 3 pin plug. The model number of this fan is HVD16 Hotel Victor Delta 1.6 and I've got this in black. So when I was looking for a fan, I first saw this fan or the similar fan to this listed on the Machine Mark website, which I'll, there's a picture of it there. I'll add a better image to the screen now for you. So yeah, the fan that I saw from Machine Mark was a Clark 14 inch high velocity fan. So it's the, the, the baby brother to this. <clears throat> and you won't believe the price. So Machine Mart wanted 95 pounds and 98 pence for their 14 inch fan. So I used the wording Clark high velocity drum fan, copied that into Google and did a search based on Google to try and find that fan. So after looking for that particular uh, fan, I couldn't find it. And then it led me to Amazon. I do like Amazon. Um, very easy to get things and get things delivered. So I found this fan on Amazon um, and it was listed for 68 pounds and 95 pence, including free delivery. So for a, uh, yeah, a fan that was, uh, where are we, 16 inches opposed to 14 inches. I've got a few more inches for less money. It's a very powerful fan and also it's in black as well, which suits me. I like a black fan. Previously, I've had other fans, but they're really, really noisy and they weren't very good at being able to angle where you'd like to send or exhaust air or fumes and they were a fixed position. But this one here is on a, a tiltable base. But also for a bit of context, I did a lot of big, large scale commercial laser shows, um, big stage style, big events. And I hosted an event a couple of years ago now, at one Christmas within my local Barnstable pannier market using a combination of 30, 20 and 10 watt ILGA display lasers. I had a very large beams and a Lemaitre high output constant flow haze machine and smoke machine blowing smoke into an absolutely a massive indoor space to create a haze for the laser displays. And I at the time purchased an additional fan which I thought was quite good 
I read up on it and it was made to have looked very good. And it was from a company which I recognized because I used to use their smoke machines in the 90s. The company is Antari and the, the fan at the time was an AF3, Alpha Foxtrot 3 professional DMX fan. And I'll post that, an image of that on screen now. That particular fan was only an eight inch diameter fan. It did have DMX capability, basically on and off and speed control. But you could do that with this fan with a separate unit that you could make for about eight pounds. So the Antari fan that I purchased at the time was a whopping 407 pounds. An awful lot of money, like four or five times the cost of this one, but for a much smaller fan, and it was listed as a professional um, GMX fan, but overall using it on many events, I found it to be useless due to its size. Um, it spanned very quickly, but didn't move a lot of air at all. So this fan here is on a big base. You can tilt it any angle that you like. You can have it up and down. Fantastic build quality on the rear of the fan. It's also got an axial motor, so it's a high torque motor, um, brushless. So on the back of the fan, basically, you've got your on and off and your speed control settings. So you've got off position and it works a bit backwards. So you've got off, high speed three, medium speed two and low speed one. But it's all nicely concealed on the back of the fan. It's not going to get damaged because it's below the actual extruded fan casing or the drum of the fan it's very neatly put together you've also got some metal hooks here so you can actually wrap the cable around it when you store the fan um, technical specifications on the fan i will try to convert this in the description just so people get a better idea of what i'm talking about so it's a 230 volt fan and it's 50 hertz that's what we get here in the uk 124 watts of power maximum fan flow rate um is that six is that meter squared 64.9 um i think i believe that's probably like cubic feet per minute and then that yeah cubic feet per minute cfm 2292 cfm uh service value 0.5 uh minimum but i don't understand that uh, seasonal electricity consumption is 39.7 kilowatt hours uh, fan sound 68 decibels uh, maximum air velocity of 5.6 meters per second so it's an all aluminium construction in a satin black powder coating a lovely ABS quality handle glass reinforced fiber in there uh, power cable that's already on it is approximately about 1.2 meters which is absolutely perfect you can always run it off an extension lead or if you wanted to you could add a 16 amp three pin c form plug on there as well but on the front it's got a fantastic louver um, so it directional and creates a vortex effect of the fan because it concentrates its airflow via the way that these louvers are constructed. It's absolutely finger safe. I can get my fingers just in the smallest and the largest part, but I cannot put my fingers through to the fan. So it's really safe. I wouldn't recommend having this in the house with small children. And it's by all means not a desk fan. It's a bit too big for your desk. But just as a demonstration, it'll probably blow the audio out of the video. I'm going to turn it on to fan speed one. I'm in a concealed indoor room, so I've got no additional airflow in the room other than the air the fan actually creates. What I'm going to do now is for the purposes of demonstration, bear with me. It's a very poor representation. I've got a 12 inch steel ruler and I've got an electronic anometer which I use for when I'm flying a drone. I'm going to hold the ruler off the very face of the actual fan and just as a very crude piece of demonstration I'm getting within 12 inches of the fan I'm getting 
emitting 7.3 miles per hour of wind. If I turn the fan up to position 2, 12 inches off the face of the fan, I'm getting roughly 10 miles an hour of wind up there. versatile fan um, you know it's suited for a lot of industrial applications airflow ventilation you wanted to remove dust from a room you wanted to move pollutants like exhaust fumes um, anything like that if you're working in confined spaces and you've got a fear of poisonous gases or high levels of carbon monoxide obviously you're going to need to wear a confined spaces gas monitor a personal alarm beacon but also it's brilliant for moving contaminants out of the air. And it's also good for British summer. If you're in a, working in a building and it's extremely hot in a warehouse, you can have something like this um, not far away from you. It isn't that particularly noisy. You could have that on and you could create a nice amount of airflow. And if you had two of these in a large industrial area, one at each end, you could create a, an airflow by pushing air in one direction and sucking it from the other to give you good ventilation. But other than commercial applications for like myself, I want to use it for pressure washing. It's brilliant if you wanted also a fan that was matte black. So the reason why I like the fan really is from my entertainments and laser display, special effects and theatrical background. It's a matte black fan you could get a bit of black vinyl and cover up the Sealy logo on the front of the fan and you wouldn't think it was a, a £65 fan. You know, fans like this normally, especially the Antari AF3, you're looking four or £500 pounds for a, a, a professional wind machine. But if you were a photographer and you had a studio and you wanted to create airflow, to accentuate the hair of a model to have her hair blowing around her you could use it for that if you're in amateur theatrical uh, theater or somewhere where you did special effects you could use it to create wind for a wind scene within a film or a short documentary um, you can also use it as an air mover especially for fan haze smoke if you wanted to create like a laser display and you wanted to have uh, smoke or haze distributed in a larger volume through a larger room or studio, you could use it as a wind machine for that. It wouldn't take a lot of adaptation to actually mount that onto a tripod stand with a top hat adapter. That's very easily done. But yes, it's matte black. It could be suited for many applications within the entertainment industry theatrical use, television, film, special effects. And that's why I like it being black. It, it, it's different than the norm, different than some of the others. The other one that I did see at Machine Mart was like an aqua blue kind of color. You know, if you want a pretty looking fan, you can have a pretty looking fan, but you know, black, black is good. But that was a short video. Well, I hope it was short, 14 and a half minutes of me wobbling on. But yet, yeah, this is a review of the 16 inch high velocity drum fan from Sealy. Um, I'm going to be using it a lot now, just at home even to ventilate. And also going to be using it for work. So I'm going to pat test it now and then get that ready to be used in my van and for my daily work. But if you have any questions on this fan, feel free to leave a comment below. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy the content, please subscribe. Anyone that supports the channel, I greatly appreciate your time and your commitment to watching my videos and supporting what I do. All of my content up to now has been absolutely free. 
for everybody to watch. I don't charge for anybody to watch anything. This particular fan here, I've paid for this out of my own pocket. I don't get anything for free. I'm not some serial reviewer that just gets stuff to review it and pushes the video out willy-nilly. I'm passionate about what I do. The content I create is honest, impartial and informative. So if you yet, like I said, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon, and then you can get notified when new videos are released. Give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it, or give it a thumbs down if you haven't enjoyed it. Either way, your interaction helps the channel. YouTube algorithms count seconds and minutes. So the more of the video that you watch, and if you can watch the videos in full, that will help me massively. I have just reached the thousand subscriber mark. However, I'm trying to build my watch hours count. Getting a thousand subscribers doesn't automatically mean you're gonna get paid lots and lots of money from YouTube. Once you get your watch hours up and then you've gone to that partnership program, you might be lucky to get 15 pence a month if you're very, very lucky. But I'm not in YouTube for money. I'm in YouTube for the passion of creating honest content and videos as a part of a hobby and something to do that excites me. And I hope it really appeals to you. But thank you very much for watching the channel. Have a great time and I'll see you in the next video.